Ports Authority recently announced it is closing all of its 463 stores. So now the retailer is planning a big going out of business sale. Sports Authority's final sales are expected to start on Friday and finish by the end of August. That is according to court documents. So if you've been looking for that, that kayak, I don't know, maybe some soccer gear for the kiddos over the next few years could be a good time to stock up. We're seeing a lot of these big box retailers kind of falling off the map, a lot of them moving to just online. And I think that's part of it, Molly. But then you think about a sporting store. I think of like, you know, the stand up paddle boards, the kayaks, things that are huge and not as easy to order online. Yeah, and I also think with some of the smaller things, shoes, uh, clothing, mm. things like that, for me personally, I don't really like getting in my car, dri you know, driving mm. on the highway, then having to deal with the crowds, the parking, to get to one of those big box stores. I would rather do it online or shop locally, and I think that's a factor well, as well. Yeah, and you can't, you can't beat the price online for some of these products, right? You walk into one of these big box stores, uh, such as Sports Authority, you see one price, well, you can just pick up your phone and go on Amazon, and sometimes can find running shoes $20, $30 cheaper. You can't blame people for wanting to go and buy their products online. The problem is, is that these big box stores, they have out of date business models. Mm -hmm. I think there are just, there are a lot of places you can go. I mean, it, when I'm looking for shoes or for like a soccer goal or football pads or whatever, a lot of times you still want to go and see that. You don't just or want to blindly mm -hmm. order that online. But you can go to Dick's, you can go to Gander Mountain, you can go to Target, Walmart. There's so many stores. And I think just like we saw with big box electronics stores, we saw Circuit City fade away. Radio Shack, the same is happening with sporting goods. Some of it is online, but some of it is just you have so many spots you can go and to. And a lot of the stops are one stop shop, like you said, at Target. You know, you yeah. don't have to go to Office Max. Yeah, you for just a lot don't of need all of You these can go to all of those. But we're, I think we're also seeing a little bit more of those specialized local mm -hmm. stores sure. that are popping up. I, I'm not much of an athlete, but I do run. You're and a runner. I'm a runner, but I like going to my special kind of local store. I've kind of developed a little bit of a loyalty to them. And I think that we're seeing more people do that, where even though, yes, it is a little bit cheaper online you want to support that local business right and it's going to be up to that business to find a way to incorporate themselves into the community to make themselves stand out what can they do that Amazon can't and those small mom and pop running stores they organize races they'll organize 5k's they'll have mm -hmm. running groups that sort of a thing REI has done something like that too where they almost have a membership that works and then they offer classes to go along with mm -hmm. it so they've kind of tried to make it feel I think a little bit more local and they're still standing right the now. the bummer about this is this is a lot of real estate that's it's going to be empty mm -hmm. now and a lot of people who will be out of jobs of course mm -hmm. but you look at you know a sports authority just put a high profile flagship store right on Nicollet Mall in downtown Minneapolis and you know now there again it's going to be an empty hole and what's going to happen to all of those spots I don't know what what's the retail model that wants to be that big of a store it'll be an Amazon we'll distribution center <laughs> maybe you'll see words. dollar stores like that's the yeah. one part of retail that seems to be growing the discounted stores mm -hmm, like Dollar General Dollar Tree, those kind of stuff. But even with like Saks off Fifth, and then we have Nordstrom Rack that'll be coming mm -hmm. to downtown, so you see more of those discounted stores. Just don't want to see over. empty spots. Like yeah, you want to see I know. something. Never good. Good.